remember, stand still and look hard. Who the hell are you? I'm Phil Mitchell, this is my brother Grant. The Mitchell boys. Oh, we met once. Yeah. I know your dad. You were kids then. We grew. So I see. So what can I do for you, lads? We were passing. We thought we'd drop in and say hello. Now that's very simple. That's why we were brought up. Are you here to threaten me, Philip? Have I got a reason? Oh, you tell me. Look, we stop messing around. You go near our mum again, old man, and you'll be eating soup through a straw. <laughs> I love it. Good thug, bad thug, brilliant. Did you hear what I said? I just heard a lot of noise. We're here to let you know we're around. Any problem you got with our mum, you know got with us. And if there's a way of resolving this, then let's do it. And if there isn't? Then my brother will be the least of your problems. Okay, boys. Thanks for dropping by. Give my regards to you, mate. I don't think you heard what I said. Oh, yeah, I did. I heard every word. And? And nothing. So, are you going to stay away from her? Come on, you know how this works. I do what I do, you do what you do. It's the old East End Wolves. But the thing that makes me different is that when it kicks off, I don't stop. I don't think twice and I go all the way. So, if you want to play, Come right in. The water's lovely. Come on, bruv. He's going to Ronnie and Richie night. We've set up his. She's her mum. And you take really good care of her. We will. I need you! Come here, please! Ruby! So, you lost your bird and your daughter. Nice work. Your family's gonna pay for this. Not your day, is it? Just... Yeah. But I don't see how I can help. Well, you know who's buying the pub, and I need to talk to him. Why do you? Because in two weeks, Chrissy, the reason Sam's in jail, could be gone. Two weeks? I think it's sooner than that. Hold on, I've got the uh, completion date around here somewhere. No. That's what we have to find it. So? So what? So you're going to tell me what? You haven't pleaded yet. Please. Please. You know, it's music to my ears, hearing a Mitchell Big. Why don't you try putting your hands together like that and really Christy goes, and Sam stays inside. What? If you don't step forward and do the right thing, then we're going to hold you partially responsible, right? Oh, and what will you do? I'm asking you straight, man to man, to do me this favour, yeah? I've done your family enough favours over the years. And what's that supposed to mean? Ask your mother. Forget it. How's that brother of yours? My brother? Yeah. I don't like him much. You wouldn't be the first? I don't like any of you, particularly. But he tops my list. We'll take it up with him. Do you know what his problem is? He doesn't know when to look away. You're talking about chucking yourself around on the floor. Because I think you're a bit old with breakdancing, don't you? <laughs> I've got him right there. <laughs> Well, I don't think you can have, because he's a lot bigger than that. <laughs> Flippancy a family trait, is it? I know where he is every minute of the day. All I have to do is reach out and that be that. I know, for instance, that right now he's in the calf, stuffing his face. That's not a surprise there. And before that, he went to see Sharon. And then him and your mum tried their luck with Stacy. So what am I supposed to do? Freaks out now or something? No, 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 I'm, I'm just telling you. 
So you got one of your bar staff following him around. Big deal. It'd be a big deal when he doesn't come home one night, won't it? Don't threaten my family, why? Then make sure they all keep in line. And maybe things will be all right. Maybe. I'm getting through to you now, am I? Your skull's really off thick. <laughs> yes. Hey. Still got the old footwork, Philip. Yours? He's like your old man's. Plodding. What exactly is your problem with my family, eh? Hey. You worked up a sweat. Here you go. Come here, sit down. I won't be staying long. Suit yourself. The tape. <laughs> you just like your old man, no manners. Yeah, well, finishing schools are fully booked. Manners are what set us apart from the rest of the apes, you know. Oh, that's funny. I thought it was opposing thumbs. Here you go again. Jumping straight in. No thought, no class. The tape. That's it. Mind if I play it? I thought you might ask that. Ask me nicely, and it's yours. You what? I want you to ask me nicely. Oh, come on, Phil. It's not too much to ask, is it? Hey? Eh? Can I have the tape? Please. Please. Mr. Allen. Mr. Allen. Right. Now just put it all together for me, will you? Hey, I'm glad you showed up. He's asked you once. He ain't gonna ask you again. The tape. Grant, stay out of this, will you? I've got everything in hand. Yeah, all right. And what's your next party trick? Call him around the office on all fours. And I told you to wait for me. I couldn't. Why not? Because... Well, this way was best for you, and it was best for Sam. For me? Yes, because he threatened you. <laughs> what? I was supposed to be scared. Oh, listen to the pair of you. Come on. I thought you and Mitchell's were supposed to be proper, eh? It's just like your old man. You're a joke. You're pathetic. Your way. Well, thanks for pitching in at the end there. I finished him off. Yeah, after I softened him up. Come, let's get out of there. Stop! Told ya. The tape, come on. Well, come on in, do it! Right here! Now! He won't. No, won't I? All mouth. Dad? Who be? It's all right, darling. It's all right. Don't you talk to my daughter! Ruby, go back in the bar. Please, do it for me. No. Listen to your dad, yeah? Ruby, please. Dad, j just put the gun down and whatever it is they want, just give it to him. I can't. Dad, please. Ruby, please. I just want you to be my dad. Just my dad, please. Right, you got the tape? Yeah. Well, then Jake's just done a runner. One more thing. Who's buying a Vic? <laughs> yeah. Dad, please. For me. Ian Bill. You better go. Oh, well, like I'm gonna back down because you told me to. Oh, go on, get out. I you'd learn your lesson, Peggy. Hey, listen, guys. Come on, far be it for me to sound big headed and all that, but how about us all celebrating Alfie's big day back, yeah? Come on, anyone who wants a drink? Orange juice. Give him what he wants. What? I don't ever remember John Wayne backing down like that. He shouldn't be standing after what he's done to us. Just bide your time, Mum. I know it will hurt him. It's not with a punch. 
Why don't we see if you're right? Problem? Um, I think Phil shortchanged me. You sure? It's 35 quid there. Yeah. I gave him 50. <laughs> so you did. Half seven. Good. Phil might not have been around, but at least they still have a very good relationship. <laughs> you want to watch yourself? Oh, yeah, what's that? You're not as comfortable as you think. People around here are ready to bring you down. What people? Like, I can think of a dozen. Not your mum. <laughs> scared. You? You'd have to have a rest halfway through. About Dennis? Yeah. <laughs> not worried about you. Well, you might regret saying that. You're lucky. He's leaving town, girl boy. He's got a cab book for nine o'clock. You're lying. Well, don't believe me. Ask your best mate, Sharon. We were discussing it earlier in the cab. Hey, you want to join us? You look a bit sad on your own over there. Why well, yeah, take this back with you and uh, fetch us the bill? Hey, Philip, your uh, boy will be calling you any minute, won't he? Here he is. Probably out on the beach somewhere, you know. I'd be as sick as a parrot if I was waiting for a call from you and it never came. Not many things in this life make you feel so sad and empty. Hey! Oh, Ben. Thanks for calling back. So, what have you been up to? Have you got his number in your phone? Dad? Just having a laugh on Yeah. Yeah, sounds great. Yeah. I miss you too, Sam. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I've seen some things in my time, but that was classic. And priceless. <laughs> Give my love to your imaginary son, Phil. <laughs> So have a look at Sharon, have a look at the coffin. Is that how you get your kicks, is it? Well, we're to have a look at you. You're getting close to getting slung out of that window. You don't want to draw attention to this conversation, Phil. Oh, don't I? Don't know. I'll go down there now and I'll tell him. I'll tell him that Dennis is dead because of you. You said you was going to do it and you did it. Yeah. You sent him to me. You don't know what you're talking about. Dennis told me. Now that's you all over, isn't it? You send Dennis to beat me to a pulp. You send Julie Smith to ruin my daughter. You put a price on my little girl's head like she was a piece of me. The fact that you're still breathing is a miracle of my self-control. But if she ever finds out that you paid that scumbag to sleep with her, I'll gut you. No, you did, Dennis. <laughs> Hot, wasn't it? Very quick. Not like yours. That'll be slow. You will take your last breath looking into my eyes. And whose eyes was Dennis looking into, eh? Well, they weren't mine. Must have been Sharon's. She's the one who had to watch him die. And you? How does it feel, knowing that it was all because of you? It wasn't because of me. Oh, yes, it was. If it wasn't for you, Cheryl and Dennis would be off by now. And right about June, he'd have been picking up his firstborn child. You knew. You knew, and you still did it. And now, she has to face the future alone. A baby with no daddy. Just because you took a risk with a man. You know something? I reckon her and Dennis would have gone the distance. Happy little family. But you just couldn't keep that great big mouth of yours shut, could you? 
And now every time she weeps, remember all her pain, all her grief, all her heartache. It's all down to you. Only she knows. Remember what I said about Ruby. One word from you, and you're a dead man. Yeah, yeah, Andy. Oh, cut yourself shaving. Olive. Yeah, you reckon? You know, I gave you one chance for it. But because of you, I had to tell my little girl why that scumbag was with her. You wanted to hurt me? Congratulations, you did. Now it's my turn. Apparently you saved her life. How about make a fresh start? Put it behind us, yeah? Make the peace. Deal? Johnny. Ruby, I told you to stay in the room. I've got to tell you, my brother came to. What's going on? Danny, go get me a knife. I'm about to react in an honest and instinctive manner. I got bored waiting. Danny! Now that, as I've said. A bit longer. Who was that joker? Oh, it could be the gardener for all I know. Did you dealt with him? Yeah. Where's Alan? He's in there, some sort of bolt hole or something. No, no, it's a steel door, Grant, with a load of locks on it. Just gonna have to wait, I think. The... Ruby, stay back! Get back in here! And you look at her voice. Ruby! Ruby! Don't let us out till I say so. Don't worry. I'm not. Fancy it's gone. If anything happens to her, she'll be all right. You're coming to my home. Today of all days. This is mine and Ruby's home. OK, what is it you want? I want you to take responsibility for Dennis Rickman's murder. Didn't kill him. <laughs> you don't really believe that, do you? Oh, the truth's coming out now, isn't it, mate? And there was I thinking that you were on a mission for justice. I am, and I'm going to get it. Oh, yeah? Why do you need it so badly, Phil? Hmm? You think that if you lay everything on me, make you feel better? You don't know what you're talking about. Did you watch that tape a lot? Did you? Did you watch it after the funeral? You can't wriggle out what you did, Johnny. Did you look at your face over and over again and wish you looked different? Did you? I mean, what was he doing? Getting into a cab. Him and Sharon sloping off into the night. And then you saw him. You seem to know a lot about what happened. What did you do? Get your man to report back, did you? No, he was in the papers. You should have let it drive on by, Philip. Shut up! Are you freak? You could turn this down on me, did you? Well, you can't. Because I didn't do anything. And if I can't get justice one way, I'm going to get it another. Then do it. Because he's not going to go away. 
Oh. Did you pay some bloke to sleep with that little thing in there? Out there? I asked you if there was anything else I should know. You'd be lying to you me. You think you know your brother, do you? Don't listen to him. He's it. using you. He's dragging you into his own private war. Shut your mouth. When Ruby found out what he did, she drank herself stupid. She almost died. I'm twisting it. And this little jaunt into the country? You think it's about justice for Dennis? It's about your pathetic brother trying to make himself feel better. He's got blood on his hands and he's trying to smear it on me. This is the pack of lies, right? Of course it is. Right, tell him the truth! Now my brother's capable of many things. But none of the filth you're accusing him of. Grant, you may have been someone once, Mr. Allen, but right now, you're a nothing. Grant, I want a confession out of him. Look, it's true what he said about Ruby and Dennis. It's true. But there was reasons. Oi! Oi! What reason? Johnny. Ruby! Get back from the window! I've got five left, Johnny! It's your gun! I'm gonna make it look like suicide! Come on then, Mitchell. Shoot me if you got the guts! Go on, give me the gun! Give me the gun! Do you really wanna go down for murder? I'll draw him off. Look after Ruby, I'm counting on you. I need to do this. Come on then, you pair of eggheads! There's Johnny Keys on him. You run all your life, Johnny! I'll be on your back until I get that confession! The keys, Grant. Oh, please give me the keys. Put it on speaker phone. What? You got the car going then? Hope you haven't got it dirty. What do you want, mate? You know your motor's filthy. Burger wrappers, drink cans. I'll get it cleaned if you like. Now, would you like that? If I was you, I'd concentrate on driving. Because when I get hold of you, I'm going to kill you. You had your chance. Your brother was doing a fine job and then your little white chickeny heart let you down. So, looks like the ball's in my court now. What do you mean by that? I mean, Grant, you obviously didn't pay any attention to the threats I've made in the past. So now I'm gonna have to follow through, starting with your mum's fingers, all right? Well, should I put these on or do you want to do it? You what? Well, you're coming with me. Johnny wants to see you. What, you expect us to put those on and just come with you? We most certainly do. Right, in you go, boys. And you. You can make as much noise as you like in here. It's soundproofed, all right? Enjoy the ensuite. Santa's little helper. Come, boys. Rise and shine. On your feet, let's go. What a lovely day. I just love it, don't you, when you can actually smell spring in there. Look, Johnny, we're all family men here. With dads, who want the best future for our kids. Why don't you and I go somewhere? Discuss this. Come to some kind of arrangement. Yeah, what sort of arrangement? <sighs> Whatever you want, man. And I'll make sure that he sticks to it. Johnny, I'll guarantee it. I want more than that. Well, like what? Just more. Danny will take over, man. We're not doing it yourself. Nah, I can't be bothered. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have a nice hot bath, and then I'm gonna make some breakfast for me and my daughter. Well, I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, Johnny. But to be honest, you've been a pain in the jacks. <laughs> you really think you're going to get away with this? Well, I have so far, haven't I? Danny, when you're finished, call me. <laughs> 